Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. So my beautiful client Liz has come in. Yes, she has the same name. Um, she's also a nail tech herself, but she's come in. Um, and we've done our clear layer on all of her nails. Uh, so I've prepped them. So I've pushed. I've, first she comes in, sanitise her hands and my hands. Push back her cuticles, go in my cuticle bit. And then use my sandband to just gently tickle over and etch the surface of the nail plate. I will then scrub clean with Nail Pure Plus, um, which dehydrates the nail plate. Sorry, Prep Spray Plus <laughs> from CJP. Um, and that just cleans the nail plate and dehydrates it ready for our acrylic application. So I'm using the one monomer, which doesn't require primer. So after I've done all that, I literally just go in and dehydrate each nail as I go along um, and then apply my clear base acrylic. Then I'll just file and shave them. Gosh, sounds boring already. Um, and I've used banana on that pinky finger because we're going to do a nice yellow ombre. And then on the ring finger here, I'm using this absolutely stunning, scrummy, yummy glitter. That the queen herself carrie anderson mixed and sonia williams is selling it on her website i've really fell in love with um sonia's glitters these last few days i've been using them a lot my clients are loving them and so am i so this one is from the kez 2107 collection and it is yellow i think i hope um and it's absolutely stunning i absolutely love 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 it so i'm just because it's got like chunky bits in, I'm just nudging that around, making sure I'm getting that nice full coverage on the nail there. Just nudging and tapping the glitters into where I want them, and then obviously always giving it that wiggle after you've done it, just to see how beautiful the glitter is. So moving on to the ring finger, I'm going to do the exact same that we've done on the pinky. So I'm just going in with the banana again. Um, I'm braining it up, so using the tip of my brush to feather it in towards the nail plate and then using the body of my brush to drag that product down and cover the free edge. Onto the index finger and I'm taking birthday suit and I'm going to make a French extended nail bed. So I literally take my first bead and I drain that on my paper towel, place it onto the nail and then start forming my wall and how far I want it. I didn't want to pull the nail bed so far up the nail. I actually wanted to do a extended nail bed but more of a shorter one on a longer nail if that makes any sort of sense i've seen them quite a lot and i think they look quite cute so i didn't want to make a really elongated nail bed so i just kept it nice and cute and short but i will do the wall area first and then i'll go in my cuticle bead just drag that bead and blend it in over the other bead and then obviously try and clean up my sides and my wall but I'm not fussed too much because I'm going to come in and just file, refine that anyway. So we're going on to the form and just removing a bit of dust there that I saw. That was obviously from filing the shape in a little bit after I've sculpted these. And then I'm going to just do the exact same thing. What we did on the pinky and the middle finger. So I absolutely love this colour. It is currently out of stock at the minute. I know Gemma is waiting for the pigment to come in. And I know you lot have been going crazy for this colour. Lemon Fizz is also very similar to Banana. 
Um, I'm not actually sure if that's out of stock as well, but everyone's gone yellow mad. There is like a yellow epidemic going on. I even have yellow on my nails, which is really rare because I can't normally get away with those lighter colours, but ignore the fact that my polish looks like a 12-year-old did it. Um, but I'm actually wearing a new colour that's going to be released from the C Gel P Gel Polish range. Absolutely love it. Um, and this is one, the one I've got on is called Daisy. It's just absolutely perfect for summer. So after I've faffed around with this thorn, there was a little bit of my brush hair come away there. I'm just going to clean up, making sure I'm getting those sides covered. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to do our ombre. So I'm taking birthday suit. I placed a bead at the join where I feathered the colour up and then blend that down onto that. And then I come in with my cuticle bead. And by this time, you usually find that you've got that nice blend. But if you do need to add more beads, the key is small. You know, keep it small, keep small beads so you can always add more without making it too bulky. So I am just think I just add another small bead there just to that cuticle area to get that full coverage that I'm after. And then I'm going to cap the nail in crystal glass. So I'm using the big boy brush. I love this brush. It's my fave. Taking crystal glass there, placing it just before the cute clear. I'm not taking it right up because it is a core powder there anyway. I'm just literally getting my structure there and making my apex with the clear. Just making sure my structure is all nice and sound. And just tidying it up as much as I can so that filing is minimal. So I'm then going to cap this nail now with the glitter. So I'm placing a first bead on just halfway up the nail. Bringing that down, getting my nice coverage. Again, building the structure of the nail here. So pat it from side to side. Cleaning up my edges. And then I'll go in with my cuticle bead. Tilt the finger downwards. I haven't even took up my cute weed, have I? I've just done, say, zone two. Obviously, just building up that nail, especially because we've got glitter and glitter is quite flat, so I'm actually building the, the nail up here. And then I'm going to come in with my cuticle bead. Placing it on, using the tip of my brush to pull the product away. Tap and tap down one side tucking it in and then bringing that bead down the rest of the nail and then I'm going to do the exact same that we did on the baby finger again so we're going to do that ombre again so I'm picking up my first bead placing it at that join area there patting and tapping it in and blending it down and then when I'm happy with that I'm going to come in with my cuticle bead Same again, tucking it into the cuticle area and blending it in. And then I will we'll cap that nail. See how I'm not taking that bead right to the cuticle because my um, core powder is there. So there's no need to go and cap that again. So I'm just capping the ombre and capping the bottom end so that it's nice and structural, structurally sound. <laughs> Whatever, just so the nails, you know, don't break. And then I'm putting that into position. I'm going to go straight to the thumb, do my ombre here and do the exact same that I've just showed you three times and then I'll come back when we do the index finger.
So I'm going to come in with my hand file now and just refine those small line, those, that small line. So I'm just placing my file flat up against the wall and then dust off any of the dust. Turn the client's hand around just to make sure it's nice and central. And then I'm going to come in with banana and some of that glitter on the tip edge of that nail and blend it down. And then I'm just going to cap the area where we have the glitter. After they were done, I filed, shaped and buffed and then I'm coming in with CJP Tack Free Top Glass and I'm going to apply a nice coat of this to all of the nails. I'll get my client to cure her nails in the lamp for 60 seconds and then that is the end of the video. I've left a little clip at the end to show you the final result. I absolutely loved these nails. I know I say that about every set but this set was like yes i really love these nails so all the products i've used will be listed in the description box so please check there first and please follow my instagram because there's lots more content on there um including daily life dramas <laughs> i love you all and i'll see you all again in my next video Bye bye